Man, look at this. They just don't make old games like they used to, huh? Like, literally, the tech has changed so much in terms of not just, wow, the games look better and the systems run faster, but, like, fundamentally, the way that a CRT works versus a normal TV that you have in your living room are so different that a lot of that old-school charm is just kind of lost in translation. Or is it? Maybe we could push to replicate some of the unique characteristics from the past, like scan lines, and not lose some of that old school charm when CRTs eventually bite the dust. Now, if you've ever tried to do any retro video game recording, you probably know composite just doesn't look very good, right? That's, that's just the general rule. Composite doesn't look very good. It doesn't carry as much signal. Except a lot of these games were designed with that signal in mind. I'm going to swap over now to the same footage, except I'm going to add scan lines. And you can see it looks pretty dang good. This is because the way that pixels are displayed is very different than the way a CRT displays things. And because of that, people who were making games made things for CRTs. People took the art and made it fit what you're looking at. So whenever you take the existing art and make it fit something completely different, it looks completely different. On the direct capture, you can see a lot of dithering and it looks kind of weird, but this is used to generate some extra detail. And then if we go ahead and swap back to it with scan lines on, you can see all of those weird artifacts, they kind of just blend together. Now, real quick, I want to pull up a fantastic Twitter account. I want to show you some 2D art right now from CRT Pixels. Right here, you can see Sharp Pixels, which is just a direct capture. This is of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This is a PS1 game. And if we compare it to PS1 composite on a CRT, you can see <laughs> there's a big difference in the way that this looks because of the way that it's displayed. And I personally really think the scan line look is the way to go. A lot of the sharp edges are smoothed out and there's a much better blending of color. An another one from this user, the whole video is not gonna beat this by the way, is from Final Fantasy VI. This image, what is this? It's a lady, I, I guess. Uh, you know, you can kind of see some like long hair, um, her butt or something. And then look at this. You can like actually pretty much make out what's going on on this picture. Like people think back on these games and they go, man, were the graphics really this bad? I mean, I guess they had to have been kind of, but kind of also not. All right, well, enough of that. Let me go ahead and actually show you the magic box that's able to make everything possible. This is the Frame Meister which is not what we're using. We're using the RetroTink 5X. It comes in black, so you can't see it on camera. <laughs> Woohoo! Now here we are at the RetroTink 5X. We are playing some Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. This is on the PlayStation 1. It is using composite video. That is the little yellow cord. Right here, you have been watching me show this with no filtering, no special settings, anything like that. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to turn on some scan lines. So the very first thing that this device shipped with and the whole reason I bought it was because of these polyphase scan lines. This looks pretty good, okay? This just goes ahead, throw some bars on the screen. Uh, I'm dumbing it down, by the way. Throw some bars on the screen and make the picture look kind of like a CRT. And you know what? It looks pretty good. This goes all the way up to polyphase 50%. And the next thing we have is, uh, I believe all of these after this is new. We have int mod. What is that? That is intensity modulation. We have 25% in, <laughs> um, we have 25% intensity modulation, which is a variant of the polyphase scan lines that we just saw, where the width of the beam, if you will, where the lines are, is proportional to brightness, mimicking a CRT. If we go ahead and then go to 50%, this mode has a similar visual characteristic. Apparently, I don't have one of these on hand, but this is what Mike Chi has said. Visual, similar visual characteristic to an 800 to 900 TVL BVM. 
Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next one we have up here is 75% uh, because I forgot to do that one. Uh, the one after that <laughs> is slot mask. So slot mask, what this is doing, is this is attempting to recreate an arcade CRT. Uh, this also adds vertical lines to mimic a CRT's mask. So this one right here, trying to go for like an arcade CRT style thing. Then my favorite one, Aperture Grill, attempts to recreate a consumer Trinitron. And I think that this looks really good. That's what I've been showing off everything in. And the last one that we have right here in this sort of grouping anyway, that adds vertical lines to this and makes things look more like uh, specific types of CRT is the PVM look, which if you know anything about retro gaming, you've probably heard of a PVM. This attempts to recreate a 600 TVL professional monitor. Ooh, PVM means professional video monitor. Crazy. There's a little note by Mike that says, due to the high amount of fine detail in slot mask mode, he recommends using it in a higher output mode, 1440p to be specific. And I have not been doing that. And maybe that's why I don't like slot mask as much. I don't know. But a big thing with all of this and something you've probably noticed and something that I've had to do to make this look better personally is you need to modify this image a little bit because it gets dark whenever you throw these little lines on the screen, okay? That's not a normal thing. So something you could do at home is you could modify your TV's picture controls to try to change the backlight or the brightness. You may also want to try to do something like a dynamic contrast mode, see if you have anything like that, because there's definitely some loss in brightness and et cetera going on this. Now, there are still more settings that we can mess with right here. Integer 100% is something that we can do. Another one, LCD. Now, LCD is meant to mimic something more akin to like a, uh, like a handheld. And then after LCD, we have nothing. Get out of here. What are you doing? Okay, you know what? That was a little rude of me. Maybe I should let you hang around if you want. If you want to see me finish out this video by playing Spyro for a few minutes, by all means, feel free to do that. I will just ramble on about uh, the game and how I feel about it and, uh, you know, how, how, I, how much I love stuttering. No, how much I love the retro tink. I think you were supposed to be able to do a little side thing here. Are we not? Hello? God, look at that. Look at this dude. That scares me. I don't like this. Let's go ahead and uh, go over here. No, I think we have to beat the level first. All right, so this dude likes fire, but I'm going to play fire with fire and hit him. Something I really want to show off with this, a huge thing I heard for so long, and I'm not gonna throw any shade at anyone. You know, you're allowed to think whatever you think, feel however you feel. This, it seemed like the sentiment with scan lines literally up until just now where you could be more advanced with these scan lines was the people didn't like them for YouTube videos or streams because compression made the games look weird. And I'm going to be honest, I never thought that. I never thought that like if you can't have scan lines look perfect, you just shouldn't do it. And you just need to play this without any sort of filtering or etc. going. I, I really... Uh, strongly disagree with that. Like I, for one, thought that like just the normal polyphase looked really good. But on top of that, I thought that uh, doing stuff like the Frame Meister has like some scan lines that you can set up. I thought that those looked great too. I don't think YouTube compression kills it. I mean, even if it somehow did kill the compression or kill it with compression, then I would probably try to go out of my way to render this game or at least a video of this game in a higher resolution to be able to compensate to give it additional bit rate so that compression would not go as heavy on it. It's not like I'm actually going to upload this at 240p or 480i or whatever. Like, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing at 1080p because of the retro scaler. I'm gonna upload in at least 1080p if not more than that, like, I don't, I don't know. I, oh, the whole reason I'm talking about this is not to call out anyone. I mean, obviously I didn't name anyone, but it is to say 
What do you guys think of this? Does this look good being on YouTube? And I am going to try it on Twitch now. Unfortunately, Twitch has a much more strict bitrate on there, unfortunately, but I definitely want to be playing some games on there. And I'm actually going to try to start streaming very often. And by very often, I mean uh, once a week. <laughs> <laughs> at least at least once a week if I really get sucked into something I mean I could do it every day for hours a day I guess but I definitely want to do it at least once a week I don't know exactly when I want to do it if you're watching this video the day it was uploaded I will probably have a live stream going later that day though so please feel free to check out both my discord uh, because I'll probably post about it on my Discord. If not, I mean, at the very least, you'll see that I'm live on Discord because my profile will change. <laughs> and Twitter, I'm almost certainly going to tweet about it. Those are, of course, assuming that you are not going and following me on Twitch where you would get the most immediate of response. Obviously, if you're not on Twitch at the time, then you won't see it. Uh, I, I touched the cable, hold on. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, this has been going really well. I'm just playing this on my flat panel. I actually have it set up where I could uh, just be playing on my CRT if I wanted. But you know what? I really like how this looks and I really like completing this level. And I think that we've just about now completed this level. Look, he's so happy. Oh my gosh. All right, buddy, we're heading out and I am heading out too. Oh, shh, this is my favorite part.